Should I use Eevee or Cycles when rendering a scene in Blender? We will be going over the strengths and weaknesses of both engines in detail. First of all, we will look at real-time rendering. This is what the scene will look like in the viewport. To begin with, this is a Cycles real-time render while in rendered mode. Notice how it's extremely grainy. Next, we will look at the Eevee real-time renderer. The image is extremely clear while in the rendered mode. The EV engine will give you the best output while using Blender, and if you have a low-end computer. But if you use the EV engine, you will have to sacrifice looks for better performance. Next, we will look at the final image render for both of these scenes. First, we'll start with the Cycles render. This took 10 minutes to complete and has a good looking result. Now time to look at the EV render. This render took less than 5 seconds to complete, and isn't the worst looking render ever, but doesn't look as good as the Cycles render, and as you probably already noticed, there aren't any reflections on the ground surface. Next, we'll look at the ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion is when the rendering technique used to calculate how exposed each point of a scene is to ambient lighting. Firstly, we'll look at the Cycles render. This took 15 minutes. The lighting in a Cycles render is based on the distance between the surfaces in a 3D space. Next, let's look at the Eevee render. This took only 4 seconds to render the scene, much quicker than the Cycles render. Eevee's ambient occlusion is based on the distance between the surfaces according to the 2D image the screen sees. You will be able to notice how much easier it is to make out the different objects in the scene using the Cycles engine compared to the Eevee engine. Next, we'll look at reflections. As you've probably noticed by now, Cycle works by bouncing rays of light to create more realistic looking scenes, and so great looking reflections won't be a surprise. But Eevee uses some tricks to mimic the reflections look, but it doesn't end up looking as good as the Cycle's render. The Cycle's render took 18 minutes to render, but gave a fantastic and realistic looking render. The EV render took 14 seconds and gave a good looking render, but not as realistic as the Cycle's render. Finally, we will look at shadows. Shadows are crucial to making your render look realistic, because anywhere in the real world there's light, there's a shadow. The Cycles render took 8 minutes to render, but created a realistic looking and soft shadows. Whereas the Eevee render took 8 seconds, but the shadows aren't as realistic looking and have very hard edges. Overall, we've seen that Cycles create a more realistic render, but requires more time and processing power. But sometimes you don't always need to use cycles, and it depends on your goal. They're both equally as good engines with different purposes.